でけえ塔がいっぱい立ってる空に伸びてるあの光はなんだよし面白そうだ Alright, at number one, and this has been a little over two months now, in case you've missed out on. See, Bandai Namco did come up with the reveal of a brand new One Piece game going by the name Odyssey. Technically, a turn based role playing game and set in the same world as the series' manga. This project has been in the works for over five years now, we hear, and last but not least, most importantly, currently planned to release by the end of 2022 and due for technically every single platform except. Switch. Check it out. In a hospital, topple a dictator, save a dynasty, seek the Elden Ring. Coming up behind that, we have the much awaited downloadable content that everyone's been talking about since a month ago Barbarians of the Badlands for Elden Ring. Technically, and this is still yet to be proven, the areas on the map that were shown but technically undiscoverable are gonna be finally revealed with the new patch. Now, you wanna get your hopes a little low for this one. For we hear this DLC will take at least one more entire year. To be finally released, so just keep it in mind for now. Lands between as a tarnished, facing down warring demigods and demons alike, stretched beyond the limits of my resilience, tested to the edge of my imagination. I'll dance with death a hundred times if I must. Guided by grace, I know I will claim my prize and become the Elden Lord. But I know I'm not alone. Far from it. Do you too seek the Elden Ring? Then I wish you luck. And may death never stop you. At number three, and this has been around since July 10, and we've pretty much had no chance to mention this one, so in case you've been waiting to hear more about it.、Uh, see, currently Tekken 8 doesn't have a release date, that's true, but Bandai Namco just confirmed that they will be at the Gamescom that will take place this August in about a few days, and there's a really good chance that we could be hearing about it very, very soon. So just keep it in mind for now. This was just a quick mention. All as we know is that the game's releasing by the end of 2020. 2023 at its earliest. <laughs> Moving on, we have JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All Star Battle R, which is now releasing for Switch, PlayStation, Xbox consoles, and PCs as well, September 2nd, this year, finally. Bandai Namco, to accompany the good news on the new fighting game, actually did come out with another trailer and said this re release here does expand the roster to over 50 playable characters and over tons of new stages to go through as well. Check it out. この隣の場所に自由に入ってこれるのこの私の能力だけだゆっくり味わい
On the other hand, and there's a good chance, I believe, that you might have actually missed out on this one. See, around the same time last year, Bandai actually did confirm that a new Ace Combat is in development and that it's being co-developed with another company called Ilka. Other than that, to be quite frank, literally there were no real details on the new game except that it is being built using Unreal Engine 5 this time. So just keep it in mind and make sure to stay tuned for a release window on this one in the following month. Alright guys, I'm afraid this might just be a copyrighted kind of trailer, so I'll make it really quick. Panda and Namco just shared the new trailer for the old Dragon Ball Breakers that's been in the making since probably two years ago and now releasing supposedly for basically all consoles and PCs and Switch included. All that had due for release October 14th this year and the fact that the game's actually available for pre-order. Moving on. Entertainment. Charles Larnett, please. Speaking. My name is Grantham Demet. I'm in a privileged position. At number 7, we have the fourth and final chapter of the Dark Pictures Anthology's first season, a reason to believe, going by The Devil and Me, which is now actually scheduled to arrive on the PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox consoles and PCs too, as well, due for release maybe November 30th this year. Anyway, not much to talk about this one either, except Devil and Me will incorporate new characters in addition to a new story, and this is what it's all about. Are you shooting any of this? No one is gonna believe it without proof. Wait, no, no, no! What the? No one, please! What happened? What the? Go! Oh. What is this? It's a fucking booby trap. Go. I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. I'll get stronger. Guys, a couple of weeks ago, see, Bandai Namco announced that, and only through a Twitter post, that My Hero Academia's Battle Royal game, or just technically the standalone online game that's been in the making since uh, 2018, I believe, going by the name My Hero Ultra Rumble, is now finally set to arrive for the PlayStation 4 only for a brief period, then later on into other platforms as well, August 18th this year. To accompany the good news, they also release a new trailer, this time gameplay, which is as you can see a team-based battle royale sort of game. Check it out. Give it everything! I'll blow you away! I won't let you! No escape! I'll fuck ya! I'll take care of it. I'll scatter them. Dice! Come on! I'll try to so up! Turn to ash! Go! Power! Okay, let's go! That's the spirit! At 
number nine, and this is a first mention since its initial reveal only days ago. Well, we have here Gundam Evolution. Well, supposedly a fully fledged first person shooter based on the Gundam series in the making and due for release late 2022 for PCs in both generation of consoles except Switch. Here's a trailer. All we know is that Gundam Evolution features about all of the characters and units ever shown across the Gundam multiverse and more. Check it out. Y'all know, if you've been a fan, the Bandai Namco actually did bring Story of Seasons to the West earlier, and ever since it's really very well received across every console. Well, here's the thing. Due to the amount of reception and hype, uh, the company has a sequel for that game in the making going by the name Doraemon Story of Seasons, Friends of the Great Kingdom. Only this time around, the game will be playable also offline in Couch Crop. Well, check it out. Here's the gameplay. This one's set to release for PC, Switch and the PlayStation 5 only for some reason in about a few months we hear and this is how it really looks. I've actually mentioned this one actually multiple times, but hey, it's a Bandai Namco list, and they just also came out and announced SD Gundam Battle Alliance with a new trailer. This is technically a first multiplayer role-playing mech shooting game of its own kind by Bandai, which is coming over to basically all consoles and PCs and Switch included, and all of that at the same time August 25 this year. The game will now feature both a single player and as I've mentioned multiplayer co-op, and for up to three players simultaneously. Take a quick look. Honest. It's another classic, eh? It's uh it's a little old fashioned, don't you think? Up next by Limbic Entertainment, which is some folks behind some of the most famous sim games for the past decade at least, we have here a brand new IP going by the name Park Beyond. Technically, as you can see, a tycoon style construction and management sim like the old theme park tycoon games. So this time around, this game's a story driven and you get to come up with stuff as far as your imagination could go. Literally, you can skip gravity in your park toys this time around and get to like people around to another dimension if you if you wish anyway check it out the game's supposedly releasing by the end of 2022 the magic of it already vertical drops with enough g's to make you giddy thrilling bursts of speed is this even possible <laughs> does it matter impossibilication Ah, 
Our success depends on your creativity, my friend. The Pac family has gathered for Pac-Man's birthday party, but... On the other hand, we have the new Pac-Man world game in the making, going by Repack. Technically a remake of the old 1991 PlayStation 1 game with new polished graphics, enhanced gameplay and some updated features in terms of core gameplay. See, the Repack version, in case you're wondering, is now playable through different mods and playable obviously co-op, but also online multiplayer and last but not least, releasing August 26 this year. Check it out. To accompany the great news, the folks at Bandai also came out with this. Explore six mysterious worlds. In order to save your kidnapped family, take on all the bad guys that stand in your way. Feed your appetite for it. Now, for those of you who've been patiently waiting since precisely a month ago when this was first revealed, Bandai Namco and Koei Tecmo just came out and announced a new release date for Ultra Kaiju Monster Rancher and supposedly the game's now releasing October 20th this year, although it is not mentioned up there. And for the Nintendo Switch only. Now, in case you haven't figured this out, the game is technically just another dinosaur sim or to be specific kaiju sim, which is basically big monsters like Godzilla, and here you get to just get them to breed, fight, survive, eat, and all kinds of stuff like that. Take a look. And last but not least, I'm, I'm almost pretty sure that there's no more than a hundred of you that are actually familiar with this one, so I'll make it quick. Bandai Namco also came out and revealed more information about the gameplay and mods that you get to go through in the new Taiko game, well, technically Taiko no Tatsujin Rhythm Festival, which is a rhythm-based Japanese platformer that date back to more than I don't even know when. Well, the new DLC here is now on its way to the Nintendo Switch only and to September 23 this year. Check it out. あそべる曲は70の曲。クレンゲ。夜に